Welcome to Enjoying Everyday Life with New York Times bestselling author Joyce Meyer. On today's program, Joyce will be teaching from her series, The Holy Spirit. Who is the Holy Spirit? You often hear about God as the Father and Jesus as the Son. But do you know who the Holy Spirit is? Jesus described the Holy Spirit to his disciples before he left this earth and said he would be a comforter, advocate, and counselor to them. He would be someone that they could be in close relationship with. The same is true for us. Once we accept Jesus into our life, we're not left alone to follow God. We have the Holy Spirit inside of us, and He will be with us to guide us in our walk with Him. The Holy Spirit can empower you to live life with a greater boldness and confidence than ever before. Now, here's Joyce with today's series, The Holy Spirit. It's very easy to ask God to help you get the things that you want. That's real easy for me. But when I ask God to help me do the right thing, I have to first want to do the right thing. And I have to be willing to do the right thing, even if it's not going to be easy. And can I tell you something? This is a good statement for you to remember. Obedience almost always brings pain before it brings pleasure. I think I need to say that one more time. (laughs) (laughs) Obedience almost always brings pain before it brings pleasure. And I'm talking about like pain in your soul, in your emotions. It's like, you know, even to to go and maybe you've had an altercation with somebody and, and they're not making a move to make things right. You happen to come across Matthew 5, 9 that says, be a maker and a maintainer of peace. Oh, I wish I wouldn't have read that. And right away when you read it, the Holy Spirit uses it, and you know that you need to humble yourself and go make peace with this person. Well, now that's going to (laughs) hurt. Now your flesh is going to feel the pain. But after that, (sighs) because there's nothing, nothing better than knowing that you have done the right thing. The Bible tells us that we are to be doers of the word, not just hearers only. And to be honest, I think that's probably one of our most urgent needs in the church today, especially in the Western world. Because many times when you have a lot of something and you know that you can get the word all day, any day in 25 different formats. And so it can just become a thing and not something that we really approach properly the way that we should. In Galatians 6, 9, the Bible says, be not weary in well-doing and doing what is right. For in due season you shall reap if you faint not. Now, God is the rewarder of those who diligently seek him. And let me tell you something. When we do what is right, we have rewards not only here, but rewards stored up in heaven. Now, our salvation is a free gift paid for by the blood of Christ. But there are rewards that are going to be waiting for us in heaven. The Bible says in too many places that God will reward us exactly according to what we've done or not done here in the body. So we, we can't get into this mentality that, well, there's nothing that we do that makes any difference because there's too many scriptures in the Bible that talk about being obedient to God. And the thing is, we can't do it without God, but he will give us the grace to do what is right if we really want to do what is right. And I just want to impress on you today, and I'm going to take probably 40 minutes to do it, that it is so important to leave here today with the mentality, I want to do what is right, not because I want to get something from doing what is right, but I just want to do what is right because it's right. It's just the right thing to do what is right. It honors and glorifies God when I do what is right. And we have such a huge problem with this in the world today. How many people do you deal with who don't keep their word? 
I mean, it is the most annoying thing that's going on in our society. I mean, there's nothing that's more frustrating than if you take a day off work or a half a day off work to meet a repairman at your house and he doesn't show up and doesn't even bother to call you and tell you that he's not going to show up. And then you have to make three or four calls to the company to find out what happened to the guy. And then you found out that there's some kind of an emergency and they had to do this or that, but nobody bothered to communicate. Well, you know what? The greatest danger that we have as believers is thinking it's okay to act like everybody else does. Amen? Well, that's what you did to me. I'm going to do it to you. No, 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 absolutely not no. We're going to say, I don't care what you do to me. God, help me. Holy Spirit, help me do the right thing. Help me do the right thing. You know, I really don't care for it when I'm, let's say, out in a public restroom and I use the last of the toilet tissue and I really want to just leave and let the next person deal with it. <laughs> but no, there's the Holy Spirit. I tell you what, when you know scriptures, they start coming back to you. Do unto others as you would have them do unto you. Be an excellent person. Go the extra mile. I'm like, this is not my bathroom. <laughs> Am I just unique or does God deal with you guys about stuff like that too? Man. And you know what I came to a long time ago? It really enriches your personal relationship with the Holy Spirit if you will just do a lot of little things unto him that nobody else is ever going to see, nobody else is ever going to know, but that's how you come into this really close, intimate relationship with God. Let's start doing what's right, even and especially in secret, just because we love God and we want to do it because we know that's what He would want us to do. I don't think I could say anything to you Perhaps even this whole weekend that would be any more important than what I just said. If you want to really, I mean, ramp up your intimate relationship with God, if you want to have a, a deeper closeness than what you have ever had before, when you're going through clothes in a store and you knock something off the hanger in the floor, don't just walk off and leave it there. Pick it up and put it back where you got it. When you get too much change at the grocery store, Take it back. I bought a pair of shoes. Actually, I bought two pair of shoes, and I'd been looking at a purse that matched one of the pairs of shoes, but I decided not to get the purse. But when I got home, I had the purse. <laughs> but I didn't get charged for the purse. Now, it was a, you know, <laughs> I mean, now some people are dumb enough to think, oh, man, that's the Holy Spirit trying to bless me. <laughs> really? He's not going to help you steal something. So now you're going to have to use your gas money and your time, and you're going to have to go back and return this thing that somebody gave you that you didn't even want, but it's the right thing to do. How many of you think this is good thinking today? James 1.22. Boy, it's been a good weekend. You guys have been so much fun. The meetings have been good, and the people are great. Thank you. Thank you. You know, I was thinking this morning, don't you appreciate Dave sitting down there letting me pick on him all the time? James 1.22. But be doers of the word, obey the message, and not merely listeners to it, betraying yourselves into deception by reasoning contrary to the truth. Anything that you believe is right to do, but you're not doing it, there's deception somewhere. Because it's amazing how we give ourselves free passes. Well, yeah, Joyce, 
I believe we should tithe and give offerings on a regular basis, but no. <laughs> no. Well, yeah, Joyce, I mean, I, I believe that we should forgive and do it quickly and not stay angry at people, but, you know, you would be amazed if I really wanted to dive into it. How many people are in here right now today and watching by TV that you're mad at somebody? <laughs> Thank you. Yeah. Uh-huh, yeah. Now we've even got some confession going on out there. <laughs> All right. But how many of you that are mad at somebody know that it's not right to be mad at somebody? Yeah. <laughs> I, oh, I hate that. Now you went like this. <laughs> but I can't help it, Joyce. No, this is when you say, Holy Spirit, Help me. I refuse to live angry. I know it's not what God wants. I know it's not right. I know how much you have forgiven me. And I am not going to just stay mad. I need your help. Help me, help me, help me, help me, help me. See, we, ha we have to get to the point where we're not just going to think it's okay to be a certain way because that's the way we feel. Do you know you can forgive somebody and still feel like you'd like to smack them? <laughs> Forgiveness is not about how you feel, it's about how you treat people. Did you hear me? It's not about how I feel or how you feel, it's about how you treat people. I mean, I can remember times when I would get mad at Dave and, you know, our first thing to do, especially as women, when you're mad is to withdraw. Put your walls up, go somewhere else in the house and refuse to be in the room with them like that's going to bother them. <laughs> well, I'm thirsty, but I'm not going to go through that room where he's at to get anything to drink. <laughs> well, I'm freezing, but I'm not going to ask him for any of the cover. <laughs> And I can so remember God just saying, get in there and talk to him. <laughs> Pain before pleasure. Come on, ladies, you know what I'm talking about? I'm not ever going to talk to him again. Okay, Holy Spirit, help me. I don't even know what to say to him. You've got to give me something to say. So, a good thing maybe is like, can I get you something to eat? <laughs> it's not like you want to get him something to eat. You're thinking about poisoning it, but... Thanks for listening. Gain understanding on who the Holy Spirit is when you order today's offer, Who is the Holy Spirit package. This package is available now as either a four CD set or digital download for a donation of $25 or more in U.S. funds, and we do accept all major credit cards. You can order today's offer from our website at joycemeyer.org, or you can call us toll-free at 1-800-789-0089. Again, the number is 1-800-789-0089. The Love Life Women's Conference is back. Ladies, mark your calendars now for the two-day 2021 online event, premiering October 8th and 9th. Inspiring teaching, intimate worship, and so much fun. All the excitement right in your home. So join us for the 2021 Love Life Women's Conference online event. For more information and to register, visit JoyceMeyer.org. Thanks again for listening to Enjoying Everyday Life. Our mission here at Joyce Meyer Ministries is simple, sharing Christ and loving people. Remember, together we can do more.